Hey, so we're welcome from AndroidandTech.com, and we're going to be kicking this week's um, weekly app review off with Player Pro. This is a music application, um, so you can play all your musics and play them via um, artists, genres, um, albums, and stuff like that. So you got all of those options at the top, and you could also create your own playlist, which is good. And you could also um, listen to your music by folders. So if you have them, organize them in folders. You could easily do that, or if you want to list all your songs, you could easily do that as well, which is great. Oops. Um, if you just click on one, um, this is what it looks like when you're playing music. You have the album out there, and you have the name. You could also rate them four stars or whatever amount of stars you want. You got your basic controls down here, and if you're really um, into music and you want to adjust the sound a bit, it does have an equalizer, and it does have preset profiles, so you could adjust the. Um, or change to different profiles depending on what kind of music you're listening to so if you're listening to hip-hop, jazz, dance or you just want to set it to normal you could easily do that and also if you really want to adjust the bass and tweak the bass and the volume you could do that with the options down there below um, very easy to use and I really do like it I've been using this this is the trial version I've been using it for about seven days now and it's been great I'm definitely gonna purchase the full version anyway this is Player Pro go check it out from Google Play Okay, the next application we're taking a look at is Draw Something. Um, this is an application where you have to try and guess what the other person has drawn. So you can either play with friends or just random people and they'll draw um, anything. And you do have like a set amount of words at the bottom and you just have to try and guess it. Um, you could also create your own games. And if you know your friend's username, you could uh, easily just um, add them and just start playing with them straight away. Um, so I think I have to draw... A fish. Let me erase that. Not the best. So you get the idea. Um, they give you a word to draw, and I'm gonna have to try draw a fish. My drawing skills are terrible, so just bear that in mind. This is just little fish. I don't know. Anyway, after you finish drawing your fish, click yes, and they send it to the player that you're playing against. And then you're just waiting for them to make their move. Um, you don't have to sit here and wait for them to make their move. You could come out of the application, go do something else, and then come back to it later. And then it'll be your turn to try and guess what they've drawn. Um, it's a great um, way to, um, you know, draw stuff for friends or random people. You could also sign in using Facebook and play with friends on Facebook as well. It's a really good application. You go check this out from Google Play. Okay, the next application we're taking a look at is Angry Birds Space. This is the new um, version that Angry Birds have released where you're playing in space. You do have like two planets there and you've got this kind of like a atmosphere thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And you just fire the birds, but this time you could actually, once you get inside the circle, you could actually curve it to kind of hit all of the targets that you need to. He said, just missed it there. Oops. Still got most of them. So, I mean, if you miss it, you could go around again and try hit them again. And then you get the general idea of it. Um, most of the levels are like these. And as you progress, you do, like, they do change it up a bit and add obstacles in a way. And you do have to curve around maybe one or two planets to get to your objective. So, we're just going to skip on to, say, level five. Like, right here. They give you two planets and you just have to try get it just right and curve around in both of them and try hit the target. See if we could go around again and hit it. Just like that. But you get the general idea of it. You have to go check this um, application out. It's really good. And you can pick this up free from Google Play. Okay, the next application we're taking a look at is Solar Charger. And this application apparently is meant to charge your phone without a charger. And it uses the light sensor and absorbs the light like a solar panel and kind of charges your phone. Um, I've tried this before and it hasn't really worked for me. Um, but maybe you need to leave it on there for a prolonged time before you could actually start seeing it charging up So I've got like a light over me. I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see it charge up So we got it on If you can see straight away you can see it's gone up and you can see it's charging up I'm not gonna sit here and just watch it charge but you know try it for yourself leave it in the comments below Does it work for you? Um, I haven't actually tested it properly um, in lighting situations for like a long period of time but just even apparently it does work for some people leave them in the comments below does it work for you give it a try you can pick this application up free from google play
So the next application we're taking a look at is Skater Boy. Um, we're gonna play through the first level, and this is another side-scrolling game where you're just kind of skating along on your skateboard. You have different obstacles you have to jump over and get through. You could do tricks like on railings and stuff like that. You do have like a set amount of trophies you could collect and um, your life as well. So you could jump on here, do tricks and stuff like that, and you do have checkpoints so. If you keep dying or stuff, you can just go straight back to your checkpoint, which is really nice. Build up some more speed. It's like, here we've got this railings. You go on the railings and you do get more points when you go on the railing, which is great. So I only collected four out of five of the trophies. I did miss one, but you get the general idea of it. This is how most of the levels are. You do have different levels you can play through and as you're playing through they add um, different obstacles and stuff like that. Um, this is a great kind of side running kind of game. Um, you can pick this one up free from Google Play. The last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper. Um, let's get this loaded up. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is Halo. This is a really nice uh, wallpaper where you just have rings kind of starting off small and expanding out in kind of greeny orangey colors which is really nice and it's got a black background on the back I don't think you could like interact with it or anything like that but it's still a nice very simple um, live wallpaper for you to go and try out um, you can pick this one up free from Google Play and yeah that's about it for the video um, leave your comments below tell me what you think recommend me some more applications for the next video also give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching